Hey, what's up everybody? So I wanted to take a second and just give you a little personal insight into the video you're about to watch. Now, I agree so much with this video. I think it's one of the most important uh, concepts, videos you can possibly watch as a beginning drummer, even an intermediate drummer or an advanced drummer or a musician in general. This video is so important to everyone, I think, because we can all struggle with this. Now, not only is the concept, which is uh, basically about trying to do too much before you're ready or doing too much when it's not necessary. Um, not only is that extremely important, not only for beginning drummers, for intermediate drummers, for musicians of all kinds, but it's going to be talked about by one of the most incredible drummers on the entire planet. Uh, and that's Tony Royster Jr. Um, this guy, I mean, at 11 years old, he won the Guitar Center drum off. And it's, it's not even right how good this guy is. And yet here he is talking about not trying to do so much and that's something that I agree with so much because I feel like as a lot of people who watch YouTube videos who see guys like Luke Holland or um, Troy Wright or like really really talented drummers um, or even like myself or Kovis or, or other people on YouTube playing a lot of notes um, like I, I can't play like extremely technically in the same ways that some of these other guys I mentioned can but at the same time a lot of times we do too much and that's just because for a drum cover or for a performance video where you're showing off or showing off um, it's important to like do that because that's what people want to see but as a beginning drummer or as an intermediate drummer or as someone who's trying to learn from these videos the one thing that I don't want you to learn is that you think that you should play too much where you should try and do something you're not ready to do yet. And so, listen to Tony Royster Jr., listen to him just absolutely kill it on this awesome subject and something that's so important. And if you enjoy it, make sure you go and check out the new masterclass from Drumeo with Tony Royster Jr. Um, if you like the guy, if you like learning from him, if you're impressed by him, he's got so much awesome stuff to share. You've only got 13 days from when I post this video to actually sign up for the class and it's an incredible value with over three hours of incredible footage of Tony Royster just not only showing you insane drum stuff but also teaching you inside of his brain like what it is that makes him so good and so talented and, and so insane like I, I love watching the guy every single time I get a chance to and the masterclass stuff is excellent so check it out I'm gonna let Tony take over now so crazy that Tony Royster Jr. is like there's a video of him on my channel now so I'm just enjoy it. Go. Bye. Peace. Happy drumming. See you later. But I got another question for you. Um, keeping on the same lines as, as the beginner, uh, beginner drummer here, what are some of the most common mistakes you see beginner drummers do when they're starting out on the drums? Just to be just completely honest, it's just doing too much as a beginner drummer. What do you mean by too much? And uh, what I mean by too much, like for example, we were just talking about feeling and playing a groove, right? So if you're playing a groove, there is no need for you to do like a crazy double stroke, kick, whatever, <laughs> feel around the drums and not end up on the one. Or speeding up and slowing down too much Dragging is, is is a big thing that I've seen, you know, beginning drummers do, mm -hmm. and it's because they're trying, they're trying to go into another area of drumming too fast. You know, they they okay. they they see and they hear other drummers, so they feel like they can do that um, without really just taking the baby steps needed yeah. to get to where you want to be or where you should be. You know, and most drummers don't want to take that time to do so. It's just like anything else, like. You know, a basketball player, you want to be great, but you don't want to do what it takes in order for you to be in the NBA or play at a higher level. Mm -hmm. That requires you to do just the, the bare, like the, the bare minimum, just dribbling by yourself in the house or wherever you're at. Same thing over and over again, you know, routine. Mm -hmm. Shooting, shots, 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 same place, you know. And that's the same thing that applies to drums. And, uh, you know, just drummers just really have to break down and, and, and be patient, you know, um, with working on just like a basic groove and playing that straight, playing with a metronome, you know? And, and like I said, a lot of beginner drummers really don't do that, 
you know. So that's one big thing or a couple of, of things and I see that beginner drummers do. Okay. Yeah. All right, man, thanks so much. And hopefully that gives you all a little bit more of an understanding for you beginners out there of where to go to when you're first starting out. What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Tony Royster Jr. I just want to say thank you so much for watching the video. If you would like to see more lessons, just please click on the link below.